Action. I'm going to start, I'm going to come at you with the big guns right from the start. Uh, top three Christmas movies and why? Oof. I mean, Die Hard is definitely up there. Um, yeah. Home Alone, maybe. Uh, yeah, that, that's all I got. But but I love those two. <laughs> I, I, I should have known you were a Home Alone guy. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I could have told that. Um, <laughs> of course, Die Hard. That's amazing. Uh, and now let's start with John Woo. Like this guy is a legend uh you're no stranger to action sequences yourself what makes a john woo action sequence different what was what was very cool to see and i, un I understood like john's sort of overall vision for this film and why he chose to do a film that doesn't have any dialogue is um in instead of you know having to film you know the person that's talking and then cutting to the people that are listening he could spend his time just designing one beautiful shot that just tells the whole story of that scene, you know, so it makes it a lot more cinematic. And then, you know, I, I'm sure in a, in a bunch of your favorite films, there are longer sequences, you know, 20, 30 minutes that don't have any dialogue. And very often, they're the parts of the film where you sit at the edge of your seat and, and are, they're the most intense. And I think you tried to make uh, a, f a whole film with that feeling, you know. In, in the film, there's no dialogue. So from your perspective, how does that change, I guess, you know, the the way you prepare for the role and, and, and the way you perform it? Yeah, it ended up being a lot more challenging than I, than I thought. Um, I mean, especially because this guy that I'm playing in every scene of this film, basically, he is just filled with the deepest grief and despair and rage and hatred and desperation and when you don't have any words to uh you know because the, the words you know they help explain you know what the hell's going on but also for the actor it actually helps you trigger a lot of the emotion and mm. so without that it, it really became a much more internal process and i found myself having to prepare in a way like i was acting like a psycho on this uh on this set before every take <laughs> i was like screaming and kicking things and crying and j and even for scenes that weren't that you know loaded because i just needed to find a way to create that intensity in my eyes and uh and also you know to get get to these little micro movements that 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 you have in the face that only come when you're very filled with emotion or, or intense thought I guess it also it takes a lot of trust, right? Like you have to have a lot of trust in the director and a lot of trust in the concept when you embark on a movie like this. Yeah, I was more of a theater and and drama actor starting out, and then I, over the course of my career, leaned a little bit into action and really enjoyed that. But I still really want to have the drama element and the acting challenge. Otherwise, you know that I think that's where I. I do my best work, but also I don't want to stagnate as an artist. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so when this came up and it was like John Woo and it's a, a film with no dialogue, I was like, wow, this is an incredible <laughs> opportunity. Shot fired, shot fired. All units, please respond. know it's a dark escape and uh but i think it you know it has real cinematic beauty in it and uh and i think that it it it's a ride you know and i think it's a ride that just grabs you from from the beginning to the end and um uh, that's that's the ambition at least and um and and if we can create a bit of of a, an escape and and an entertaining escape and then you know, I, there's 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 no glorifying uh, this path that he goes through. You know, it's about a man that uh, cannot reconnect to love, cannot reconnect to his life, 
and then uh, goes after revenge. And by doing that, he loses his humanity. Um, so it's uh, it's watching the how wrong it can go. Yeah, absolutely. And I hope you kept that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer sweater as a prop <laughs> that you you can just keep forever. I didn't. I didn't. No. But but I I got the leather jacket though. Joel, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Yeah, you congratulations really... on the movie. Uh, and uh, have fun. Thanks, man. Love chatting with you. Uh...